Welcome to the Hydraulic Press channel. My good ideas just keep coming and getting even better. Today we are going to crush this. I call it, uh, I'm not sure what I call it. I call it bad idea. <laughs> it's four ball bearings in one go. And I have no idea what's going to happen. It's going to be a huge amount of shrapnel, that's for sure. So we have our safety box here to keep windows intact and us alive. I think we have to warm up with just two and then three bearings. Work our way here up to this magnificent thing. So first two. Okay, we are ready. And this is so beautiful moment that my wife wanted to share this with me. And the question is, how strong is this one? 30 tons. I say three tons. <laughs> <laughs> so there is quite large spread. And here we go, double bearing. Yeah, I think this is easier than I thought. I think we can actually cross the bigger one. I was worried that it's going to be too tough. But uh, let's have a look on the high speed. Okay, now triple pairing. And I keep my estimation at three tons. What is on your opinion? One ton. Oh, oh, let's see. And here we go. Okay. That was much better. Okay, but that was much more exciting. Let's have a look on the high speed. Okay, and before the last one, I want to see what is the difference between three bearings and just one. So this is the exactly same size as was the uh, outer one on the last go. So how much weaker is this compared to three bearings? That's the name of the question. And I'm going to say that this is only 500 kilos. 300. And here we go. That was, I was pretty close again. Yeah, but I, I'm going to say that this was the most dangerous one. There was a lot of shrapnel after this. Okay, there it is, quad bearing. And I'm going to say that I have to rob Annie's first guess of 30 tons. What is your updated number? Same. Okay, we agree on this one. Ooh. I am like from zero to 10, I'm like eight worried. Uh, here we go. <laughs> that was great.
that was great. I never thought that it's going to be so nice. Only five tons. Really weak. But they didn't like support each other. They went one by one. So, so I think if you count all them together, then it would be in the 30 tons. But hey, but hey, let's have a look on that high speed. I think that's pretty goddamn good. And seems that this is about as stupid as we can go with the safety box without any extra shielding. The shrapnel here flies about 80 meters per second and that already makes quite good dent on 3 mm steel that the safety box is made out of. But I can always add like some polycarbonate and stuff like that around the box. So there is still room to be more stupid. Okay, the high speed was also excellent. And here are some of the end results. It's just like, it's like everything broke. The last one was by far the best crash of this year, I think. There was so much going on, so much of sharp steel flying, lots of spark and everything nice. Yeah, one thing that I might want to try is to put ball bearing on like solid steel axle and then put like really solid bearing housing around, around that and then see how strong they are when they are in real use. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that on the next ball bearing video, but that is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.